I am giving you a successful morning routine so you can literally accomplish everything you need to in your day and be as productive as you want. Hi guys, welcome back to Completely Karen. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Karen, and I am your life coach who is teaching every woman out there how to be the badass she was meant to be by giving you tips on great habits, morning routines, overcoming self-doubt and self-love and all of the great things that we need to be our best self. So if that sounds awesome to you, make sure and hit the subscribe button so you can keep up on all of my videos. Let's get started on today's training and what I'm basically doing is giving you my morning routine because this helps me be really productive and get a lot of shit done throughout the day. But if you follow the steps that I'm gonna give you that I do in my own routine, your day will become much more productive. So let's get started on a great morning routine so you can be as productive as you wanna be. The very first thing that you're going to need to do to have a productive day is you're gonna have to wake up about an hour earlier than you normally do, unless you're waking up at like 3 a.m. because you have to go to work at four, which probably isn't the case for most of you. So hear me out. You don't obviously have to follow this, but I will say, that if there are things in your life that you really want to accomplish, whether it be you wanna lose 30 pounds and by doing that, you're gonna to go to the gym every day, or you are going to write a book, or you are going to look for a new job, or you just want some alone time because the rest of your day is filled with kids because you have four kids under the age of five, guess what? I have the answer for you. You're going to get up an hour earlier than you normally do. It might sound daunting, it might sound scary, but I promise the more you do it, the easier it gets and the more you'll get used to it, but you will use that first extra hour basically of time that you're adding to your day to accomplish something that is just for you, that's going to help you be better so that you can be better for the rest of your family. You might use that hour to go to the gym or go for a run or work out in your basement. You might use that hour to write a specific amount of word count so that you can really work on your book. You might use that hour to research how you are going to build your business. You might use that hour just for you to practice self-love and just read a book that you've really been wanting to read. I don't care what you do with that hour, but it should be just for you. All right, so you've woke up an hour early. The next thing that I do after I wake up is I write out my schedule for the day. I get out my planner for 2019, and obviously I just started this week, so, but you can see my other weeks, they're all filled in. Um, I plan out the most important things that I really need to get accomplished that day, because if you write down every single thing you want to accomplish ever, you will only accomplish the things that like have to get done like your kid has a doctor's appointment or you need to make dinner tonight. You wanna write down number one, the very most important thing and that is going to be the thing that you woke up an hour early for. The one thing that you're working toward to make your life better. That goes down number one. Mine is always mindset because I feel like if I have my mind right and I can really focus on that every single day, everything else is gonna fall into place. So my very first thing literally on every single day is mindset. And I use my hour to work on my mindset. You don't have to do that. That is just what works for me and really helps me get off on the right foot so that the rest of my day can just fall into place. And then I progressively just write down things that I need to get accomplished, whether it's my walk, my kids time, my day job, my videos, whatever it is else. And I usually try and keep my to-do list to about five or six things. That might even be a little too much. I don't wanna overwhelm myself because if I get overwhelmed, I'm gonna look at my list and go, I don't wanna do any of these things. It's too much, I can't do it. And then I'll just get depressed and overwhelmed and I'll feel bad and I'll get mad at myself for not accomplishing things that I put on my list. So keep it short, but make sure that the very first thing that you put on your list is what you want to do to get yourself to the next step in your life. The goal that you wanna reach the very most. The next thing that I do after I plan my day is I really focus on gratitude. 
I get out my grateful journal and I write down three things that I am grateful for. And I really feel into those things and I am really specific about what they are because if I'm just writing down, I'm grateful for food. Okay, well everybody's grateful for food, right? We wouldn't be able to even live without that. So be specific. Think of things that you're really grateful for and write down three. Because I feel like if you can start your day off with gratitude, it makes your heart full and it makes you recognize all of the really awesome things in your life. So it's a great way to start the day. Then I go into my one hour of whatever it is that I'm doing. I already told you mine is mindset. I kind of call this my spiritual gym because I'm not really a religious person, but I definitely feel like I am a spiritual person. I feel like, again, if I can get my mindset right, then everything else falls into place. So I use this time to practice my visualization. I use this time to repeat my affirmations. I write down my top 10 goals that I want accomplished. I write them down in this journal every single day. They're the same thing. They're the things that I need and want to accomplish. They're the dreams that I want to accomplish in order to be the person I see myself being in 10 years. You can do this too. And if you want more training on this, it's actually Rachel Hollis's 10101 plan. I have a video and you can click this link right here to get the training. I teach you exactly what she does and it can totally help you become the person that you want to become. Now, if you're not gonna follow exactly what I'm doing, that's okay. Do your thing that you're doing in your first hour. Write out your schedule, do your gratitude, and then get going on that one thing that you're gonna do just for you. The next thing that I do after my hour time and people are starting to kind of stir in the house, especially on the weekdays, Weekends, I'm a little more flexible on how early I'm gonna wake up, but I still get up an hour earlier than everyone else. So the next thing I do is I drink 16 ounces of water and then I make my coffee and I start my day. And you can do those exact same things, or you can tailor it to your own specific life and the things that you have to and want to get accomplished in the morning, but just follow the same basic outline of wake up an hour earlier, do a little mindset stuff, write out your daily schedule of the most important things you need to get accomplished, gratitude journal, and then get going on the things that you need. And I would say really think about adding in that 16 ounces of water too, and coffee or tea or whatever you do to kind of give yourself a little jolt and get going in the morning. So I hope that these tips have helped you because I know that they help me be super productive throughout the day. I know the things that I want to accomplish. I visualized them. I feel really good in my head about where I'm at and I'm ready to conquer the day. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you have any other really great tips that might help us make our mornings better so that we can get off on the right foot. Thank you so much for watching. I think you guys are amazing. And you can always check the description below if you need any more information about me and what I do and all of the great things that I can offer you guys. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time on Completely Karen.